What's, what's the demo, Clay? This is a product. Um, you bring it, whatever you need, you bring it. Uh, make everybody get around. Oh, okay. Pretty much usually a pattern something to work off of. Okay, so if you're on YouTube and, and you've noticed some of the people are, are molding their own parts and stuff like that, mm -hmm. they, they use all kinds of different things. I've seen people take a Dawn dish liquid, pour it in water, and then squeeze a silicone uh, caulking gun into the pot, and they come up with this gooey mess, and they can make molds out of it, oh, right? Okay. Well, they also sell a thing in Europe called uh, blue stuff. And it looks like this, except it's colored blue, mm -hmm. right? It's kind of expensive. And what it what it is, uh, this is called Oyu Moru, and it's from Japan. And it, it, it's it's kind of hard. It's a hard, like, plastic bar, okay? But you put it in the hot water, like boiling water, for a couple of minutes, and it becomes soft and malleable. This water's cooling down now, so, mm -hmm. so what you can do is, and it makes great impressions. This one, uh, I put the top part on top, the bottom before it completely cooled, so they glued it together. But you can see the detail off of this wing. Oh yeah, see it? See yeah. the detail? Mm -hmm. So, I got a couple of kits from George. One was a bunch of FW 190s, uh, missing the cockpit. So, I made a mold. This I had one cockpit, so I glued it all together. I made a mold. And I, I tried different resins and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and I poured the resin. So with this thing, it's unbelievable. You can actually just push it in, like in this one here. Um, I had the spinner off that, um, this spinner here, mm -hmm. because uh, George has a, I got three ME109s in the box and only enough parts to make two. There's too many parts missing, so the spinner, I'm, I'm pouring the spinner and then put it in there, and then I'll wait. You know, you can either put it in ice water. You feel how hard it is now. See? Yeah. And see, it's and this is after the water's cooling down. It's still a little malleable. It's getting harder. Yeah. But it becomes real soft and stretchy. And I got one of these rollers. I can spread it out. And you see, this one's really square it's because I make Lego molds. Yes. So I put in the Lego. Um, so it's it's really neat. Um, you can make any kind of part. Now, I've, I've had issues with trying to find the right resin or something to use. Mm -hmm. um, I first tried the mill putt, and it dries like this. On little parts, this is off of a, a P38 Lightning that I had. Remember, Don, I got it at the Seattle show, and the, uh, the ailerons were missing, right? So I made it. Well, you can see it's stiff enough. That works fine, okay? Right. But when I did the ME 109 wing, you can still, oh, it hardened up enough. It's been a month. So it, it, it does not bend anymore. It used to bend. Mm -hmm. So then I bought, this is called the green stuff, and it's um, two-part epoxy. Yeah. It's yellow and the blue, and you cut it together and you roll it up, and it makes these parts. And see, this one still, see how it still bends? Yeah. So I, I can't really use that on the wing. Mm -hmm. But I, I've done, like, the spinner, and you feel how hard that is. So. I can use that for a spinner. I can yeah. cut it. The bigger See? they are, the longer it takes them to cure. Right. Yeah, and well, not just that, but um, I guess the bigger they are, they're still flexible. The smaller parts are not as flexible because they're small. See, so this is like the um, the Where Mediterranean exhaust or intake, whatever for the oh. uh, ME 109. So the tropical. Yeah, trop trop intakes. I'm sorry. Yeah. So what I did was started. I tried those two. Didn't work too well. So then I bought some of this crystal clear. It's a resin. And the problem was... No, you, it's, it's not that hard. Because you make a top and a bottom, right? Mm -hmm. And so yeah. this, is the, this is the bottom. And okay. it's still flexible. I just popped it right out. Okay. Oh, okay. And here's the top. Yeah. See? Yeah. So yet I wait, I wait a while before I make the top so they don't stick together. This one I rushed and it stuck. So. But I mean, this, this hole, you get that third hole. To get that the, flash out yeah. of the hole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You because, use a drill. Yeah, yeah, because this one was a, a yeah, test yeah. shot. So yeah. it was sitting crooked or yeah. something. It didn't make it real good. Yeah. So You can salvage that, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can just pour another one. So this is what it looked like from the mold. The problem was I couldn't see where the overflow was. So it was hard to get it out of this mold. Mm -hmm. See? So what I did was I bought some tint, and I started coloring the resin. 
So look, this one I hadn't even pulled out yet. But see what you do? You just bend it a little. Yep, it pops right out. There you go. And that's what it looks like. So I've already cut this one down. See? Oh yeah. yeah. See? Okay. So the it, tint makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. So it's easy to see. You know, yeah. it's easy to see when you're trying to pop it out. Yeah. Yeah. So again, like the, the F one ninety is missing the top cowling. Mm -hmm. So I, I had a mold of this, and that's the piece that came out. The first one. There you go. Yeah. Well, uh, I got I got one. So okay. Well, I I, actually, the one I have, I think, is a Dora. The, the first time I poured the resin, though, you can see it's still sticky. Yeah. I, I guess I didn't get the mixture quite right. So, that's But these are just parts to show, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's either an A or an F. I'm not yeah. sure which. Yeah, I got a Dora D model. Yeah. So I just that's thought it'd be neat to show everybody about about this stuff that if you need, if you lost a road wheel or something like that, you don't have to buy another kit, you can pour oh, okay. your own. Yeah. The, 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 the so, guns were A's. Okay. Have you tried the F's would have bomb racks. Okay. after you uh, create a mold and use it? Have you tried re-softening it? And oh yeah. It to oh yeah. The mold? This thing I've I've done okay. 10, 15 times. So it's really it, it, it's really neat because you do that. You get it. You get the boiling water. You know, I I run in the microwave for two to three minutes, and sometimes I I cook it with it in it, and the, <laughs> I pull it out. That's why I got tweezer. You got to pull it out, and it's so soft and everything. It's unbelievable. Soften your resin first, and then throw your noodles in for lunch. No, it's not resin. This is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Moru plastic. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Your molding materials. Yeah. So, I forgot what store I bought this from, but there was six pieces, right, in that thing. I got two of these containers for nine bucks. It was three fifty for shipping, so I got it for twelve fifty. Now, Hobby Link Japan also sells them, but they're on back order right now, and that was one of the cheapest places, so I got four of them on back order from Hobby, uh, Hobby Link Japan. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. It's some it's some really neat stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and if you're missing parts or something like that, so you can do it. Uh, but I'm gonna stick with the resin. I think yeah. the resin works the best. Mm -hmm. So cool. Yeah. Hey. Nice job.